Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Tavo, and today we are back with School Live. Oh man, <laughs> I have been recording since 1 p.m. It is nighttime. <laughs> it's 9.30 at night right now. And if you guys can't tell, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still gonna keep on grinding, push through, because I want to. <laughs> Biggest reason, like, I want to just have everything staged and set up for this week, so that way I'm not backlogged and have to <laughs> record 17 <laughs> videos. It'll only be 12. <laughs> but uh, either way, uh, sidetracked. Last episode, we got a little bit more in depth onto like what Miki thought when she first met Yuki and like just kind of the girls and everything like that and just kind of we figured out that you know Magune obviously she existed at one point but she kind of gave her life to save the girls and you know Yuki still sees her like she still doesn't perceive reality right so uh let's just let's just hop right into it at 120 Zambies. There's hella Zambies. It's not K, Mickey. It's Yuki. Yes. I need to unbutton my pants because I ate dinner, right? Because fuck, I needed a break. So I ate some dinner, but I ate a lot. So I need to unbutton my pants because I'm a fucking fat ass. 800 years ago. Whew. <laughs> for people in high school before graduation. That just reminded me of that. What to do? Run the mug. My final message. Save the world. Yuki's fuck. That's some wishful thinking, Kurumi. Yeah. Everyone wants everyone wants that, man. Just really, it hurts my heart to see Yuki sad. Never there's like a really bright, cheerful character, right? Or just a character with a cute design. It just. I feel like that's why I think I haven't had a dream in like ever. I haven't had a dream in years, or at least none that I can remember. 
The show hits different when you find out that Megan is, you know, dead. Is that a soba? <laughs> oh, udon. Why did I say soba? I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> of course. It's Total Mara has better table manners. <laughs> ah, no! Another one for Zion's. Jeez. sense of reality is slowly growing a little more fragile. Yeah, at some points you would feel Sure. <laughs> Especially since I'm. T oh. Stay strong, Yuki. Stay strong, Yuki. <sighs> My heart.
Your boy be tired. <laughs> oh, I need to wipe down the camera. I know this is very fuzzy right now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you carry your pigeons. You're gonna miss it. <laughs> I can just picture Karumi just beating down a fucking pigeon with the broad end of the shovel. <laughs> the balloon is blowing up, not surprising people. Fun facts. <laughs> It's about time you start pulling your fucking weight. <laughs> yeah, we're fucking persistent creatures, if nothing else. <laughs> Yes, it is. It very much so is. Especially when you're in high school. And you write people, you write letters. They just sort of sit in there like, I'm gonna write a letter for this person. He's fucking precious, man. He brought traps. <laughs> <laughs> Just a basket. I think any teacher would, not just her. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> <laughs> actually caught the fucking pigeon and now it's just 
flying around the room. <laughs> That was weird. Yeesh. Gotta hope it does. It's funny because it's just a regular pigeon. Like it's not, it's 100% not a carrier pigeon. It's just, they just tied a note to some random fucking pigeon's foot. Just a nice little slowed down version of the, the OP. <laughs> Fucking precious, man. This fucking show. It finds you. Another fantastic episode for the series, man. God, it's just... I don't know, maybe it's just because... Like, I... When I first started watching the series, right? I don't know if it's because like, I came into it very low expectations. Because there's just one I just kind of stumbled across, right? On fucking Crunchyroll, and I was just bored scrolling through. And it looked interesting, right? Because it had just, you know... I had these characters, and then the background for the key art is just... Like, this disheveled fucking rubble of a wall that's left the school, right? And I was just sitting like, oh, that looks pretty interesting. I read the description and everything and I watched it, but it went in with, like, low expectations. And it just caught me so, like, just far left field by surprise of, like, how much I enjoy the series, dude. Like, it's just... I honestly think it's really well written. Like, again, it could just be me. It could just be the fact that I'm, like, really easy to please, right? Like, but... Just overall, I really love the writing of the show. I love the writing for Yuki's character. Like, you could tell they took the time to do her character well. And I really appreciate good writing when it comes to character building and, like, 
world building and the show and all that like I don't know it it, it adds a certain sort of like um, enjoyability to the show right and it also adds a depth to the character that a lot of shows are lacking you know because a lot of characters and a lot of animes now are just cookie cutter it's just copy paste slap a different character design on it get a different voice actor bam it's the same fucking character right like and obviously it's gonna happen, especially with like how many fucking anime series come out every single fucking, what's it called? Every single season, right? But, and that's fine. It's just, you know, whenever there's a character that's really well written, that doesn't necessarily matter. It's not necessarily that much of a factor in that situation, right? Because the character is so well written that it's like forgivable because it's not too samey, you know? And, yeah, it just adds so much to the show, especially, like, when you can tell that they took the time to really think everything out. Like, it's just, it's just super well done. I really enjoy the series. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I'm excited to watch episode 8 with you guys next week. Hope you guys stay safe, stay blessed, double out.